Hey guys. So I'm out here, I'm out here repotting things. So I repotted my banana plants. I repotted these here. I just got from Lowe's yesterday. Um, and these are the, let's see if I can see this right, Majestic Palms. So they came with, it was two in the pot. Well, I guess this must have been the pup because it was small. So I just broke it down to two. But right now we're on our back porch patio right here. So um, I'm going to leave these outside for the summer. I'm sorry, guys. It's just hot. It's cold here. I'm going to be repotting these here that I got from home, uh, Lowe's also. Thing. Don't buy these gloves from the Dollar Tree. I just put these on today. Today. And you see that? These things are cracking up already. So don't get them from the Dollar Tree, okay? Especially if you love wearing the gloves, all right? So I'm going to be repotting a red ghost hot pepper. I got these out of the Dollar Tree set. I mean, out of the Dollar section in my Lowe's. They were going to die. So I just cleaned them up and I'm just going to be repotting them. The next one says organic, but who knows? But it's from Bonnie Plants. And it is the eggplant Shiku. Shiku? Shiku? Let me, you guys can see that. That's the eggplant. So it looks like that there. I've trimmed it down. Has some new leaves already coming on it. I had these in my uh, grow tent where you see where the banana plant was, the one that got big. I got, I had these inside for a couple of days so they can heal up some. This is a cherry tomato and it's called the Sun Sugar Cherry Tomato. I have two of these plants. One is already planted outside in the dirt and I'm gonna plant one in the container today, okay? So that's what we're gonna do today, a really quick video, nothing strategic or anything like that but you guys will see me keep drinking this water it's hot <laughs> stay hydrated guys it's terrible also i'll be using this uh miracle grow soil so that's what we're going to do today guys so i'm just going to use this type of bucket right here just dust it off I mean, it's going to be outside anyway in this weather. So the first one we're going to plant is going to be our tomato plant. Now, you know what tomato plants, when you plant these, you got to plant them all the way, like cover them up, like literally cover them up, <laughs> um, almost up to the leaf part, all right? So that's what we're going to do. But before we do that, I see a sucker, which is this one here. It's growing out. So we're just going to pinch that back and take that off, all right? We don't need him. So there we go. Can you guys believe they were gonna throw this out? Like, only because they, you know, they were so dried out, I guess that's why they were gonna do it. So before we do that, we're going to put a little soil on the bottom of the container. Put a little soil in the bottom of the container. That's what I like to do first. And you already know when you get the soil so compacted, you gotta make sure you mush it, squish it up a little bit to break it up okay this is why I love Rick Rose pot in the soil mix okay it's gonna be a real quick video guys not 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 too long all right I'm gonna show you how much I put in the bottom of the pot in a moment I'm not gonna feed them because I already fed them so this is how much I put in the bottom of the pot. Oops, things are falling out of the holes. It's okay. So we're gonna do this, take this sign out. Tip your plant over. Hit, hit the bottom of the butt like the doctor does <laughs> when the baby's first born. <laughs> there we go. As you guys can see, look at these roots. They're definitely rounded from sitting in this pot, but there's still some good roots on there. So what we're gonna do is just break it up a little bit, tap it, you know, to, let's put this on my lap so you guys can see what I'm doing. Just tickling it and rolling it to move the soil a little bit so we can release some of the roots from being tangled up so much. 
So I always like to go to the bottom first, dig out. Just mush it around, she'll grow. Don't worry, she will grow. She will grow, okay? So I'm just trying to release the roots so they can grow in every direction, okay? That's all we're doing, just releasing the roots. Tomatoes are good, they're, they're, good. they're vigorous plants, so they're, they're, they're good to mess with their roots. I don't know why I'm just stuttering there, but it's okay to mess with their roots. They're vigorous plant and they grow quickly. Already I see a baby trying to get it. Okay, so. And then I just pat her. Try to get as much dirt as I can down. So you guys see what I'm doing? This is what I do to my plant. So don't say, oh no, she's destroying the plant. No, I'm not. <laughs> This is what I do, and it works for me. Everyone has their own methods of doing it, saying things. So, you know, just take a tip from everyone. Don't say you can't or you shouldn't. Just take a tip from everyone, because you can learn from everyone. Every gardener, no matter if they have a thousand, a million, or one subscribers, followers, okay? So now that we got most of the root ball exposed, we're gonna make sure this tree is in the middle, or we'll plant is in the middle, like so. And then we're just gonna start adding some soil to it. You guys don't stay hydrated. We can't wait to harvest. I can't wait for to harvest my potatoes. Oh my goodness, so long. <laughs> I can't wait to harvest those. I've been harvesting green, collard greens and um, tomatoes. I can't wait to harvest the other items that I have. I know it takes time, and it's okay. <laughs> I'm willing to wait, but I can't wait. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm one of them nosy gardeners. It's always in the garden. As if something's gonna change in a second. Sometimes it does, so. <laughs> I'm still filling her up. I'm gonna fill it as much as I can. As much as I can. As much as I can. You gotta plant these suckers like almost all the way down to the ground. Like they're just coming out of the earth. <laughs> okay. I know I'm losing dirt. I wish I didn't do that, but we do that, so it's okay. Okay. This is what I like. Okay. So we're gonna do an experiment with this one, which is in the container and the one that's in the ground. So I have two I have two of these sun sugar uh cherry tomato plants one's already planted in ground and this one's going to be in the container and we're going to do a comparison and i got them both at the same time both in the dollar section out of those okay and when i first got this one it didn't have this i put these this in the greenhouse well i'm taking it out now i'm just gonna i might put it back in the greenhouse i'm not sure but Right now, we're at the
We got our tomato plant done. And we have our eggplant done. All right, guys. All right, guys. So that's it. So let me turn you over, guys, so I can show you my banana plants, how they look. Like. I see that. That's the biggest banana plant. That was in the greenhouse. I don't know what size tub this is, but I, it definitely needs to be in a big tub. And then we got the small one. As you guys can see, that is outside. Of course, there's no noise in the little car. I don't know why they put them noise makers on the little cars like they're going to win. I'm going anywhere. I'm going nowhere. All right, so yeah. That is, oh, and then I stole this hat for my boyfriend. <laughs> so, yeah. That is my plants, my repotting today. So, don't forget, guys, let's grow together so we can eat together.